for the Indians. Savali off to a really good start on his year. Eight wins, two losses, 349 ERA. The 0 2. Struck him out looking. Curveball over the outside corner. One down. That was a slow teaser and a really good location. Bases are loaded. They're loaded for Shed Long Jr. Ground ball to first. Bobby Bradley has it. And the flip to Savali ends the inning. Justin Dunn on the mound getting ready for his first start in 12 days. Just off the IL, Cesar Hernandez will lead things off. And that's outside, ball four, so the Indians have their leadoff man aboard. Ahmed Rosario, group to center. That's going to fall. Thomas maybe. racing in, he dies, can't get there. And Way Cesar hard, able to yeah. get the second base, so two on, nobody out. Line drive, base hit, left field. Cesar coming into third, he'll stop there. And they're loaded up with nobody out. Eddie Rosario will be the batter. Right field coming hard as Bowers. He won't get there. A run will score and everybody moves up 90. So Eddie Rosario puts the Indians on top one to nothing with his 34th run batted in on the year. And they're still loaded, still nobody out. Here's the pitch. A curveball that was in the other batter's box on a 3-1 pitch. And Bradley walks. And that'll give him his fourth RBI. Naylor up now has an opportunity. Line drive, center field, base hit. That'll get Ramirez home. Here comes Eddie Rosario. Throw to the plate. They're going to call him out. I don't think the hand ever got there. He ran into the catcher's leg. And so that is out number two. And it's three to nothing Cleveland. And the right-handers 0-2 pitch. It is strike three called on the outside corner, and that will finally end the inning. A couple of strikeouts for Dunn, but the Indians get three. Bottom of the second inning, and Bradley Zimmer to the plate. Big bouncer. Zimmer gets down the line quickly, and he almost beat it up, but he's called out. I think they're going to challenge this. Yeah, they, you know, they can because he got down the line, and they're going to say that Zimmer put his foot on the base before the pitcher did. And Oh, yeah, he oh, sure he, did. Yeah, yes, he did. He beat it. And it looks like he beat it easily just from that replay. So this one should not take long. The headsets are off. That didn't take long. Save. It's now first and third with one out. And now Jose going to get another opportunity. Line drive right field. Base hit. That's going to bring home Zimmer. Rosario stops at second. It's 4 0 Cleveland as Jose knocks home his 36th run of the year. Bobby Bradley leads off the bottom of the third with the Indians leading Seattle 4 0. Rocked. Deep right center field, headed to the bullpen. Goodbye. Bobby Bradley with his second home run of the year makes it 5 0 Cleveland. Well, he got a good look at him that first time up at home plate because he ended up drawing the walk with the bases loaded. But he had a, a, a nice pitch here that he put a pretty swing on, and it stayed middle of the plate. And Bradley deposits his first home home run this year. Right down the middle, that'll be a souvenir for one of the fans out there. And number two on the year. So the blast to right center and the Indians now leading it five to nothing. Oh no. Oh my goodness. That was a direct hit. And Austin Hedges is down in the heat. And I mean it's every player's worst fear. The fastball that you can't get out of the way of. Yeah. And that's exactly what it was. Justin Dunn visibly upset. A number of the Mariners players shaken. About what they just saw, but the good news is Hedges alert, talking to trainer. Yeah. But Hedges looks to be okay, and he is going to go down to first base. A direct hit. Justin Dunn is looking at him from the mound as if to say, I am so sorry. Aaron Savali back to work with a 5 0 lead, facing his old teammate, Jake Bowers. Look at that. Nice pitch. Cutter, outside corner, carved. Six K's for Savali. 11 in a row. He is retired. And the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Savali, number seven. His fan three in a row. Nothing really fancy with this pitch, just a little movement. Well, that's all it takes, though. In the air, left field, routine for Eddie Rosario. And the Mariners go one, two, three. It's the top of the sixth. Aaron Savali has retired 13 in a row. And Crawford takes strike three on the outside corner. Eight strikeouts for Aaron Savali. Now the set, now the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. There's a new season high. 
Nine strikeouts for Aaron Savali. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on a curve. He strikes out Seeger and strikes out the side. And a career high 10 strikeouts for Aaron Savali. Five nothing Indians, middle of inning number six. Bobby Bradley, he walked with the bases loaded in the first. Bradley trying to shoot one in the hole, and he does. Ahmed Rosario flying around third, he'll score. Jose Ramirez goes to third, and Bobby Bradley with his second run batted into the night. Boy, that's pretty. But Bobby didn't try to pull his pitch, he stays on it. They're giving him, they had three guys to the right side. There you go, my man, get that two out RBI. Harold Ramirez 0 for 3 tonight, make it 7. Harold Ramirez drives home Jose, and the Indians lead is 7 to nothing. Yeah, the route is on. A couple of two out base hits here in this inning. 7 nothing Indians, 8th inning. Swung on and miss, he struck him out for his 11th K of the night, and that's 21 in a row. Little Get topper right back that to Savali. Nicely done. 22 straight set down by the Indians right hander. Blake Parker is the new Indians pitcher. And a line drive left field. Eddie Rosario has it one down. Seeger wraps it in the left. Is it high enough? It will stay up and it is caught for out number two. High fly ball. Left center field. Bradley Zimmer going back on it. Book it. The Indians take the series opener behind dominant pitching. 7 0 is the final score. Aaron Savali goes to 9 and 2 on the year as the Indians are 33 and 27. Seattle is 31 and 34.